Kakarot, it's time you die. I'm going all out, Vegeta. My power is tenfold. Let's see how far yours can stretch. Hands off, Kakarot. Ugh, my eye. You will pay for that. Get over here. I'll squish you like a green bug. That's enough, Vegeta! Dragon! Fit! Not this time, Kakarot. I'm putting my foot down on both you. I'm Prince Vegeta! <laughs> hey, what's up? How's it going? Frankie B here. This is Frankie B TV, and you're watching Epic Unboxing. Today, I have a very, very big, highly anticipated figure. I put in a pre-order and been waiting for it to come since July. I mean, at least that's when it's been paid for. It said it was going to come out in July. It got pushed forward to August, and then it got pushed forward into September. And we're, we're in September now, so uh, where, where are you at? And it just came in the mail, though. Fresh out the box and you know now we got to take the figure out the box but before we do that though look how big the packaging is for this oh my god this is huge i was i mean i was expecting it to be big but i mean this thing is big <sighs> yeah so um give me a minute i'm gonna look at the box we're gonna go over the box real quick then we're gonna take the big guy out the box that's right this is the big daddy of them all grade eight vegeta Woo! let's do this Okay, guys, here goes the front of the box, though, and, I mean, this thing looks great. This thing is huge. I don't know how many times I can say that. Whew. So, here goes the front of the box. It's going to say Great Ape down here on the side. And then, I really like how they got the front image of the Great Ape there. That is really a, a nice pose, and you've seen this pose a lot during the promotion and the pre-orders. And then, you're going to get some black and white images, and you can't forget your toy sticker down there. It's really small down there, but that's how you know your figure isn't a fake or a bootleg figure, you know. Then you got the side images. You got more black and white images. You have the face where uh, the great ape is battle damaged. And then you have the teeth here. Um, man, all this here, the detail in the pictures alone are nice. You're even going to get images on the top of the box, which is really cool. All through here. And uh, I don't know if anybody wants to see the bottom of the box. Oh, look, there's some art at the bottom of the box, too, though. So, I mean, this thing is art everywhere, showing you stuff. And, man, let me push that box just a little back there so you can see. Um, yeah, so here goes the back of the box. I didn't have a ruler, so lucky it tells you how big it is. It's 310 millimeters, which is great. And then it's, you know, telling you it's super modeling. You're going to get some more poses. A lot of the poses you saw on the promotional art, you know, when they were promoting this, trying to get you to for pre-orders and getting everybody hyped. But best believe I was hyped. Um, you're gonna get a Goku figure though, like a little small one in the hands though. So um I'm gonna see how that works out. That's pretty cool. Uh you get a cut tail and a full tail. Yeah, so this is awesome. This is awesome. Um, if you guys want a comparison with other boxes, here you go with Broly, and <laughs> Broly doesn't even come close to the size of this box. Like, look at the side difference insane so yeah definitely a huge figure one of the biggest figures in my collection and i think he's gonna hold that position for a while so let's get into this box now because i have been waiting all day for that okay guys i'm right here don't mind me we are here for the figure so don't mind if you can't see me but yeah we're gonna open this up Finally, like I said, I've been waiting all day to open this figure for this video because, you know, this is epic unboxing and part of the unboxing is being able to open it with you guys. I mean, I want to open it up like sideways, but I'm going to have to lay it down because I don't want nothing to fall out. The face on here looks like it was already loose and oh my God, look at that, look at that, Woo! Oh, easy there, easy there. He's a heavy guy. 
So yeah, that's what he's gonna look like standing there. Let me bring the camera over here real quick, show you up close, and then we're gonna actually take him out. Yo, <laughs> this thing looks incredible. Um, I got this for $179.99 plus tax, came close to about $200. Uh, $4 flat shipping. Shout out to Big Bad Toys for bringing this to me safely and delivering it out as soon as they could. Um, I waited a while for this, a couple months on pre-order, and it's finally here. I'm juiced. I'm excited. I don't even want to touch it. It just, it looks mint. I can smell the fresh plastic off it. Let's just go into the pieces now. We got a Yajirobe piece. That's pretty cool. You're going to have uh, alternate face plate for a uh, great ape and we're definitely gonna put that on you're gonna get the uh, the mini goku figure already in the hand so the goku is like already molded in the hands so we're gonna actually place that together too uh there goes the tail and there goes the mini cut tail so only one tail though i mean i guess you can paint that in the inside to make it look like it was cut off that tail and then just connect it when you just want to have a whole tail but yeah only one tail you're gonna have uh, an alternate hand. This is for the right hand and then a right hand finger pointing. And you're gonna have your left fist. And there we go, we'll open hands on the actual figure. And this thing just looks incredible. Oh my gosh, I mean, should I just take him out the box now? Like, ooh. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh, it's got a little plastic in there in the back. I'm definitely going to rip that down. Okay, let's change the camera position, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go with the grade 8 figure out the box. And let me just start off by saying this is a unique video for me because I haven't uh, had a figure this big where I had to have a figure in camera and myself in camera just to show you the articulation like that. And let's just start off with the shoulder pads. That's pretty awesome. I love the Saiyan armor on that, though. Um, it's definitely articulated. It's got it's got a good ab crunch in there. Um, the arms, they're, du they're double-jointed. Has a swivel here at the bicep. Um, swivel here at the hand, the wrist swivel. Uh, the joint don't really turn around. I'm not going to force it either, but that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I do want to know is that it is heavy top and you want to be careful with the legs because uh, the legs are not that loose or wobbly, especially compared to some other videos I've seen. Uh, but since it's so heavy on top, if you place this wrong and it's a little unbalanced or an even and someone closes the door some, this thing is going to fall straight over and you're going to have a bad time. But without that being said, I mean, I love the legs. Look at that. It goes back that much. It even kicks forward like that. Oh my gosh. And uh, you can hear that. Look at the ratchet joints in there. I mean, this thing's so big, it needed those type of joints. But this thing is oh, crazy. It's incredible though. I didn't put on the tail. But basically, I'm gonna show you real quick. You just get that little point, flip it up. Bang, there you go. Now he's looking more complete. Yeah, so this is awesome. Like, I mean, I don't normally spend this much on a figure, but when I found out Grade 8 Vegeta was coming out, there was no question without a shadow of a doubt that I wasn't going to have this and add this to my collection. Uh, this is going to be worth a lot more money uh, later down the line. I just know it and grab it now while you can. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Let's see if we can get him on the stand and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go with a close look, and we finally got him stable. We got him on the stand, and he is looking freaking awesome. I mean, look at this. This is like the King Kong of Dragon Ball Z. Um, let's start off with his hair sculpt, and uh, yeah, that looks great. Definitely telling you that's Vegeta right there, but not even just that, the hair shape. It's the detail that they put into the top. I really like that. And even the ears, I mean, the detail in the ears are tight. So that's that's pretty cool. All in there. Um, they got his facial features down. I mean, even the muzzle. Um, the way it is, you can even see it here in the cracks, but all that. It looks like this figure, you know, if, if people are into custom work, that they could definitely detail this, make this, bring this figure out even more with some shading. 
uh, that would be great. Um, I would have to lick it for someone to do that for me because I personally don't do that. But yeah, that is tight. Oh, man. And then look at his white gloves. Look at the veins in the muscles. Like, whew. and then he looks battle damage. I mean, this is pretty awesome, though, the chip here. Um, I don't really like this. I wish this could be covered up or a little more fitted. But I guess it's because of the articulation. You know, they don't want, I don't know. I wouldn't even say it hinders anything. It just, yeah, I wish that was a little more filled in. Uh, yeah, the torso looks great. <laughs> Look at that. It just looks so small, but it's so cool. It looks, you know, damaged and everything, though. No shading there, but that's some natural, you know, shadow there. That's that's nice. Um, I do like the, how they went out and gave you a full fur knee um, just for this part right here. Uh, none of this is fur, just this, the joint. Um, that's pretty cool. And then there was the boots, battle damage. And there's even a, um, there's a hinge here. So the toe does flip up or, well, it don't flip up, but it does go down. But yeah, this figure's great. Okay, guys. So what I did here was I switched out the hands and it's not too difficult though, but it does require a little stretch. And uh, I was a little nervous though. You know, I didn't want to pull out the arms too much though, but uh, I got the hands locked in and there goes his pose where he's crushing Goku. And that's pretty cool. Um, another thing I wanted to show you that's pretty cool um, was his face comes off here. So you can take the muzzle off. You can take that. Off. Oh my God, who's that ugly guy? But yeah, you're going to take this piece off here and we're going to now put on this piece so we can make it more show accurate so i'm gonna launch that right in there and it's like oh my god where's my muzzle now his muscles come in right there so then you're gonna get that and it's gonna push it right in and see this part here doesn't articulate it's this part here on the bottom that makes the mouth open so not up here that just pushes in this is the part right here that's got the hinge to open and close it but yeah, let's open that mouth. Let's look at Goku. Looks like he wants to eat his head off. That's awesome. So here goes the base of the stand and then the part that's going to hold and help support your grade eight while he's uh, posed. And then right here on the side is where you're going to get this little peg here and you're going to connect your little wide Jirobi. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to I'm going to pop off that tail, you know, put it to the side and then we're going to grab this little tail. This one here, we're gonna put that on there. Push it in there, there you go. And I'm gonna paint mine red, I'm gonna touch that up just so it looks like, oh crap, I got a bloody tail. So yeah, we're definitely gonna paint that red and then I might even paint the inside of that red, the peg and the peg hole. So yeah, that's how you hook Wajirobi up and then look at him, he's pretty cool. Comes with a little sword. I thought it was two swords, but I'm like, no, that's the sword casing. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. And he's kind of got this little Go Goku, Gogeta hair going. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So great ape Vegeta is looking gigantic. I mean, look how big he is compared to Broly. I mean, sure, it's like about, what, an inch up there on the, uh, on the platform. But other than that, I mean, Broly is still down there, though. I mean, I can even take him off real quick if you guys like. Let me just take him down. Careful with that. Careful. Oh, yeah. And then when you put it next to him, look, it, it, it's, it can be a lot bigger. But, I mean, it's still monstrous. It's terrifying. Look how huge it is. His knees are still bent. Broly's standing straight up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's insane. This is a big articulated figure. So let me go ahead and add some more to the comparisons. Uh, we got the standard figureized model kit, uh, Bardock, and then we have the Dragon Stars Majin Buu, Kid Buu. And uh, wow, uh, yeah, Great Ape is just towering. And these guys are on the platform, so. Ooh, nice size freaking figure. Ooh. The box was big, he's big, those fists are big, the muscles are big. I mean, what more could you ask for? I mean, <laughs> he can't be this tall, can he? I mean, this is great, this is great. Thank you to Moshi Nation for building this, for making this able for us fans and fellow collectors to collect.
All right, guys, and here we go with the final comparison. And the reason why I want to compare these last is because this is the Dragon Ball Evolve line. And I really think these figures line up with them. Yeah, they're limited into two waves. This is wave one, and I'm going to be doing wave two on a review. If you want to check out the wave one review, I'll leave a link in the description. And wave two will definitely be on the way. But yes, these Dragon Star Evolve figures are a great size. You know, if you want to play with your grade eight with, and, you know, just have fun with these figures i mean these are pretty cool um i just collect them though but just the size comparison and these are well articulated too so definitely something they got these other figures called the shuttle figures i don't really uh collect those i hear those are real great with the great ape and there's definitely a lot more figures in that line but yeah these smaller dragon ball figures with this sh figure art great ape vegeta are just perfect all right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up the video. I mean, honestly, I can go all day into this figure and just looking at it and the things I like and the things I don't like, which is hardly nothing because I really love everything about this figure, though. Um, yeah, just uh, go out and go get your figure. If you can't afford this, you know, I understand, you know, uh, he is a hefty penny and not everybody's going to be able to collect him, though. But if you are one of those lucky few and you can go and get him and you got the money, go and get this figure. Um, like I said, it's not for everybody, but for those collectors who really want this figure, it is worth every penny. He's real heavy. He's sturdy. He's articulated, though. He's well detailed. Um, and he is just like a split a splitting image right off the show though. I don't know what more you can ask for out of a grade eight. Maybe if you want them a little bit bigger, but I mean, we're not talking Sentinel big now. I mean, come on, this this is Dragon Ball grade eight. I mean, this is the first one. This is the biggest figure I think in the SH yard line. But yeah, let's wrap up this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section though. Don't forget to hit the like button and just know that I'm Frankie B. This is Frankie B TV and you're watching Epic Unboxing. Yes, we just opened the Great Ape. This is tight. Go Great Ape figure. Oh yeah, and for one more cool little thing before I get out of here though, um, I'm working on my tattoo. Uh, I got me a Great Ape tattoo going let me see if i can show you that oh yeah look at that with super saiyan 4 this is just the lining getting the shading done though but yeah hopefully in one of these videos when i come back and uh with the unboxing videos i'll be able to show you guys a full image of it though when it's all done though so yeah to my fellow dragon ball fans to all my fellow collectors and to all my subscribers and the new people watching this video thank you i'm gonna catch you later you guys all have a great day <laughs>